a margarita on its own is awesome. However, an orange Halloween themed margarita, well, that's just kick ass. Hey everybody, my name is Eric the Drink Idiot, and today we are making a Halloween cocktail. And by, I mean Halloween cocktail, um, it's kind of just a margarita traditionally with a little twist. Um, and because it's orange, it's an excuse to drink a margarita. But for real though, growing up, you know, my parents always did cool stuff for Halloween. I was really into Halloween. And, uh, heck, my anniversary's on Halloween, for God's sake. So, you know, definitely a holiday that is well ingrained in me. So, it's also a great reason to have a few cocktails. This orange margarita being a great cocktail to have any time, but especially this time. Now, because it's a Halloween cocktail and it's an orange margarita, I'm kind of, you know dressing the glass up as if it was a pumpkin. So therefore, I start off by adding this really cool green salt to it. Now, you don't have to go out and buy a special salt for this. It's really simple. You just take something like a margarita salt and something really simple like these Cheapo McCormick green food coloring you buy in the store. They come with like the four different colors. Uh, you buy one of those a few drops here in uh, a little bit of salt, stir it up, you know, don't get it too wet. I think I put maybe like eight drops total and there's a fair amount of salt that I used. Um, so, you know, this is margarita kosher salt that I'm using here. And you just want to take a lime, take that lime, rub it around the outside of the glass. And you'll notice in the clip, you know, that I'm rubbing it around the outside I'm not going like this around the inside of it as well because you don't want salt on the inside of the glass you know otherwise you'll have this nasty kind of salty taste at the end of your margarita and we don't want that. The next little thing I did was I made this like garnish which is falling apart uh, pretty much simple just a lime piece and an orange wheel and it's gonna mimic a stem neat right okay so the first ingredient we're gonna use in this cocktail is tequila it's a margarita after all and I like to use tequilas that say 100% agave reason being they are real tequilas they are higher quality tequilas typically so if it doesn't have that 100% agave you know pick something else pick something else but it's gonna be two ounces of tequila you just want to put that into a shaker tin and move on to the next ingredient, which is orange curacao. Now, this is orange curacao. You see it, you might see blue curacao, you might see clear curacao. And I'm going to tell you right now, they all pretty much taste the same. It's colored that way. You get really cool drinks that way, and of course, the orange is going to lend us a hand in creating that pumpkin-y, orangey looking color that we're looking for. So this is going to be an ounce of that. And if you're curious, it is kind of an orange flavored liqueur. Like I said, all three of them are orange flavored liqueurs. And, you know, comes in handy for other drinks like uh, I believe Mai Tais use them. And there's a lot of different things you can make with orange curacao. It's worth having. Now luckily, if you did the garnish thing, you have an orange, and you have a lime. So we're going to squeeze the juice out of both the lime and the orange, and we're going to get an ounce worth of each that is going to go into this cocktail. Next, we're going to take a little bit of crunched up ice, put it in there, and give it a nice shake for about 20 seconds. Oh, by the way, did I mention, um, I got all kind of Halloween stuff here. You know, I don't know if I mentioned that Halloween's coming up or that I like Halloween or, you know, all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, 
Cool, right? Anyway, I'm gonna put a thing of ice in here. Not a lot. This one large cube in there ought to do the trick. And I love, I love those huge cubes. All right, so I admit it's not as orange as I thought it would be, but you know, it's kind of a neat little thing to do if you're, you know, wanting to have fun doing something different. Uh, admittedly, I'm not big on salted rims, but I think after a few of these, you'd probably just say the heck with it and uh, just start slamming them down normally. Mm. Oh, frick, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't as orange as I may have wanted it to be. Dude, it's still a damn good margarita. Awesome, you should try it, seriously. I don't know if it's the fact that it's like 90 degrees out in this freaking room or that this is just really amazing but this is one of my favorite drinks I've had in a while could have something to do with the fact that I love tequila do you like making cocktails yeah. you want to see more Halloween stuff yeah. yeah well if you like this skull want to see even more Halloween cocktails, then click subscribe down below the bell icon. That way you're going to get notified anytime I post a new video. So until next time, I want to thank you all for watching this video. And remember that if this idiot can do it, so can you. Cheers. How do you drink cocktails without a body? <laughs>